Hey, Grady, um, just checking in with you on um, how the offseason's been going as you all transition to a new regime. You know, it's been going good. It's fun to be back with the guys and, uh, you know, fun being on some new energy and uh, learning new coaches, new programs, and um, just, you know, taking it how it comes. And uh, um, how is it when, you know, you go through these transitions, some guys are back and some guys are, um, you know, gone, and uh, how do y'all try to move forward in, in, in the new scheme that you all will be working out of, or new schemes? You know, we just, you know, working with who we got here, and, um, uh, you know, I mean, it's a voluntary part of the year. Um, guys who want to be here, cool. Who, guys who, you know, staying away with their family, they well entitled to do that as well, so I know we'll be ready by the time training camp come. Um, we're having some really good attendance um, fully virtually and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, we definitely just, you know, we're putting in work every day. And the multiple schemes, have y'all seen some of that and how y'all going to uh, try to, you know, attack people? Um, yeah, yeah, um, it's, it's fun. You know, I, I, I describe the defense we, we got as, you know, fun, a lot of putting people in good position and um, excited to go out there and put, put some good on the field. Tori? Hi, Grady. How much did you know about Dean Pease before he got here in Atlanta? Um, I didn't know too much about him. Um, you know, uh, once I, you know, did my homework, then I, you know, figure out how, uh, you know, how well his resume is and just the, the work he's done. And, you know, it shows for itself the great players he's been around and coached. So, I mean, um, it's, it's been fun working with Coach Pease. I feel like a term this offseason that's kind of been thrown around with this defense is the word rebuilding. But do you think that this defense is rebuilding? Uh, no, I don't believe that. I feel like we got the guys to have a great defense and uh, we working every day to be better and uh, put a put a dominant uh, defense on the field. Cool. Thank you. Michael Rothstein, ESPN. Yeah, hey, great. I want to follow on that last question. You, you, you said a couple things there, but is there something specific that you – have seen that tells you maybe you're not in a rebuilding situation defensively? I, I, I prepare week in and week out to be the best defender in the league and um, go in there and um, do what I got to do and uh, try to put a good example for my teammates. And, um, you know, and we never, never in a point of where we just saying we're about to sit back and take an L. So we, we, we grinding every day. And, and on DMPs, I know on your podcast, you talked a little bit about kind of what Ray maybe told you a little bit about him. What did, what did maybe, what's the one thing Ray told you that stood out the most that's maybe kind of come to fruition already with, with Dean Pease? Um, definitely getting input back from his players and um, being open to, um, you know, suggestions, but also going into details of why we do certain things and, you know, why he asks certain, certain things of us in different positions. So just having that insight and coach being open enough to share that with you is, is, is good. Appreciate it. Thanks. Justin Felder, Fox 5. What's up, Grady? How's it going, man? How's it going? Um, so we, we ask you about this seemingly every year, just the leadership role as you've, you know, you've become one of the veterans on this team. How has your leadership role evolved and what's been the interactions like with uh, with the new rookies? Um, you know, got limited time with the new rookies, uh, but, um, you know, always trying to encourage those guys and uh, be, be there to help them through whatever this process is. But, um, you know, but um, as far as the leadership role goes, I always want to grow and develop my skills as a leader and learn where I can be better. And uh, first, you know, be the example, you know, putting the work in day in and day out and, uh, you know, not asking anything of anybody that I'm not willing to do myself. And how different does, you know, this time right now feel compared to, you know, last offseason? Obviously, everything was locked down and staying away from the facility. But I know some things are still virtual now. Does it feel back to normal? Is it kind of back to normal with an asterisk? Uh, you know, it's obviously different, you know, at this point last year, nobody in the world knew what, you know, COVID was going on. So, I mean, it was precautions was a lot, you know, higher and not knowing what to expect. But um, so obviously it's different now. Um, but I think, um, you know, people, league, whatever it may be, uh, we're doing the best we can. And, you know, a lot of guys, you know, want to be back working with the team and stuff like that. And uh, some people, I mean, it's, it's at a comfortable place where, you know, it's, um, you know, if God wants to stay home, they can stay home. If you want to come come up here, you come up here. And uh, we just know when it's, you know, camp time, um, everybody expect to be in shape and just go to work. And, um, you know, it, it kind of is what it is. You take, take it how it comes. It really don't matter. You know how you feel about it. Zach Klein? I know you're going to tell me it's all about wins and it's the team, so you can't tell me that. What are your individual goals for 2021? 
Um, my individual goals, you know, definitely um, continue to grow as a player, man. Get back to the playoffs, you know, chase a championship, um, you know, be a pro bowler, be an all pro. Um, you know, I, I expect to have my, my best year this year and um, just continue to grow, you know, and um, that's what I work for every day just to try to, you know, up myself. And um, uh, so I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for this year to come, you know, being under, um, you know, Coach Smith, Coach Pease, and excited for them to put me in positions to have success and, you know, play with my teammates. So, um, you know, it's, it's going to be a good year. And if we talk to you eight months from now, Grady, and ask you, you know, what the, what was a successful 2021 season? How would you define success for this year? Shoot. You know, we – real success coming out with that championship you know and um you know and i just think having success in our division super highly competitive division and um you know it's just i think it's time for us to you know take that step and uh be competitive again gain our respect back around the league and um me on a personal level just you know just just continue to get better you know control what i can control and uh, help lead my guys to be the best they can be and um you know, and I, that's success. You know, success is really just doing your best, you know, day in and day out. And I feel like if we do that, um, we'll be where we want to be. Thank you. Tanitra? Hey, Grady, how's it going? Good. How about yourself? Good, good. Small sample size, I know, but how's it been so far working with some of the new coaches like the new D-line coach, Gary Emanuel? It's been fun. It's been fun. Uh, he a trip, man. Funny guy. And, uh, you know, but he definitely straight line. You know, he he let his expectations be clear up front from the whole room, and uh, you can't do nothing but respect it. And uh, so, so I'm definitely excited to work with Coach Emmanuel. Um, you know, him being he done coached man, he done coach coach that coached me. You know, he coached <laughs> by. You know what I'm saying? So, so um, you know, OG in the game, man, and just can't wait to learn from him. Yeah, and I know you said limited action, interaction, of course, with the rookie class, but what are your maybe initial thoughts on Taquan Graham and what he can bring to the D-line? Oh, uh, yeah, man, TQ, man, you're looking good. You know, I, I haven't had much time to spend with him, but, uh, you know, seemed like he, you know, hard worker, good kid, and uh, well-built, you know, um, especially for a rookie coming in here, looking like he's in good shape. And, uh, so excited for him. You know, don't know what the expectations are for him, but, he he seemed like the kind of guy you know control control he can and I'm not speaking for nobody else but um uh, I'm I'm excited to have him on the team and whatever he you know whatever he can add. Thanks, Grady. All right, we got time for a couple follow ups. Uh, Dila, you got anything? Yes. Um, uh, Grady. Um, just you know, uh, Dante. How do you try to you know how how is that uh, interaction with him? I know he was hurt last year, just didn't go the way he wanted to. Uh, see you around, and and have y'all had talks, or uh, you know, what is where is he at? What is mindset and coming in and trying to you know, uh, you know, help out the defense and do you know meet some of his expectations? Um, you know, like I said before, you know, I can't speak for speak for another man, and uh, but uh, me me know Dante for years now. I know he's working to be the best he can be, and um, I know he got a high expectation for himself. You know, and. Uh, so I know he's putting in work, and by the time it's time to go to work, I, I trust him to be ready. And, um, you know, he he knows the expectations, and, um, you know, so, you know, super glad to have him on the team. I can't wait to have him uh, see what he can do in his new defense with everybody. And, um, you know, so, you know, that's my boy. Tori, do you have a follow-up? Yeah, just one, Grady. I really liked what you said about, like, I expect this year to be my best year. Is that almost kind of like how you go into every year, kind of just setting the goal, like, one step higher? Absolutely, without a doubt. You know, never satisfied, always looking to get better. It's always something in my game that I can't get better in. And, um, you know, that's the mentality. And, uh, you know, that's what it got to be. That's what it is for me. And, um, you know, that's just that's just how it's going. All right, we got time for one last one. Michael Rothstein. Yeah, hey, Grady. Uh, I kind of want to ask you more about a little bit about your future. Have you had any conversations with Falcons about a possible extension in that window that – that can start to happen. Has that been any, so been any, any talks about that? All contracts, you know what I'm saying? Everybody know represented by Todd French, you know. Go call Todd about the contract stuff. It ain't no secret, you know what I'm saying? Call Todd, talk to the people up here, and uh, everything is always going to work out, you know. So, call Big Todd. All right. Do you want to be here long term? I mean, I'm from the city, man, you know, but the league is the league what the league is. But, um, you know, say what I said.
Appreciate it. Thanks. Bye, guys. Thanks so much for the time. Thank you, Grady. And we'll talk to you guys soon.